So in this video, we're going to focus on the settings area of our Gear S. I've received a lot of questions or comments. Can you show off um, all the different settings um, within the settings area? So what we're going to do is we're going to swipe up. Let's do this one. Swipe up, and we're going to move up to settings. You notice that there's settings right there. We're going to choose that. And what we'll do is review each one of these menus so that you can see what you can configure and what you can't. So the first thing you can do is you can actually um, do a lot of the styling of the watch. So I can actually choose the clock type and here you can choose without this is completely independent from the phone you can do this on the phone itself too so you can see all the watch faces are available um, we'll go back you can also determine that you want the clock face um, always on but this means that it's going to really use up your battery um, if you do have like the auto wake feature what will happen is you'll the watch will dim and then it will become brighter um, once you do the appropriate motion so I wouldn't advise you turning that on Wallpapers, again, you can set wallpapers. You don't really need your phone to do that. Um, color theme, that's really going to affect um, all the borders. Uh, there's only really, not a lot of options. There's only two that you can select from there. You can work with the fonts. You can, you can change the font style. So there is a font style that you can work with. And then there's also um, the font size so that you can say, you know, one would like to see this larger. So you can see how the large looks. I can go small. And you can see how it, the text is smaller. Go back to medium, which is the default. Um, you also then have, let's go back. Um, you also then have call. And the call setting, what you're going to do is you're going to be able to set up um, your call forwarding. Um, you're also, um, you know, the settings associated with the linkages uh, between your phone and the actual uh watch itself. Under sound you can go ahead and um, obviously change vibration modes, um, different tones that are going on, ring tones, and touch sounds if that's something that you want to have on. Under display uh, you'll be able to set up here uh, your brightness, screen timeouts, um, you know the wake up, um, you know what when you turn it on and then the date and time is coming from your phone so you don't have to worry about that right now uh, notifications um, you know the notifications view if you want to see it how you want to see it between a list view and a standard notification view um, you get your messages and then again uh, that this is right now saying that the messages are going out on the um, mobile number so that if you are using, uh, you know, it's connected to your phone, it's going to be using your cell phone's mobile number, not the mobile number on this device. I will tell you that if you disconnect, if they're disconnected and this is working as an independent phone, then this is not accurate. What will happen is it will be this device's phone number uh, for messages. Also, if you have call forwarding enabled where you separate your phone from the actual Gear S, um, all phone calls, all text messages are coming from this device, so you actually see this phone number. You will not see your phone's phone number. So whoever you're speaking to, if um, just make sure that they know that you have two different numbers. Some people just don't pick up the phone if they don't recognize the number. Uh, do not disturb um, settings, right? So if you want some quiet times, uh, you have the double press. This is going to say what happens when you hit the double press, what application you'd like to go to, and here are some uh, pre-selected ones that you can choose from. You have a privacy lock, uh, so this is where you'd go in if you want to set up your your PIN, right? Uh, motions, oh, we do, let's go into accessibility first. Uh, screen reader, so there's some nice um, accessibility functions, very similar that you have in Android. So if you turn on screen reader, whatever you touch on the screen is going to be read out to you if you have any kind of visual impairment. And then uh, there are several other things that you can do, change it to negative colors to make it easier to read. I find it's very easy to read, but you can swap that, um, turn off all sounds, um, etc. Okay. So um, here we have um, motions, and under motions you have mute pause, which means if you put your hand over the phone like this, or the watch, um, and if you have any music or calls going on, it's going to mute, and then you have the wake up gesture, whereas if you move the watch like that, it's going to wake up. I disable it because I want to have my battery last. Uh, language and input, um, you know, you have Sa Samsung keyboard, and then this is uh, your language settings is coming from your phone. Uh, you have also keyboard settings, as you can see right here, Samsung. Uh, but then you can actually choose, you know, what type of keyboard you're going to work out, what kind of layout uh, you're going to have. Um, you can choose your language, and again, um, you know, there are several things that you can do. I can, you know, there's a download here that I can do, but I'm just going to. Uh, do that a little bit later. But you'll notice here are all the languages that are available 
and um, you know did have some questions regarding uh, was Arabic available or some of the um, other languages and you'll notice that uh, there's a good variety of languages that you can use and keyboards associated with these languages so uh, pretty vast um, you know you have again smart typing um, which is again uh, you know a, a lot of different settings that you can have on the phone so that it has the predictive text capabilities if you're going to use uh, the phone swipe is also available the feedback on the keypad and then you can obviously reset the settings let me just go back we'll go back again remember swiping down takes you back um, power saving mode you can enable that if you'd like uh, then you can reset the gear and then you also then have gear info where you're going to see uh, the version of the software that you have and the serial number for your gear. So that was the, the actual settings area of your Gear S.